welcome to Around the Dog World here at the Stafford County Showground. Last time we were here for UK Toy Dog, it was a cold day with mounds of snow scattered across the showground. Quite different today, with heavy wind and rain blighting one of the first general championship shows of the new show season. Welcome to Birmingham National. Here at the National we have four days of competition, starting today with Terriers and Hounds. But before we see any of the groups, we need to see what's been going on since our last programme at UK Toy Dog. And to bring us up to speed, we've got Andrew Brace with us here today. Thank you for joining us, Andrew. Thanks Useful sir. day for a dog show. Um, I presume that's sarcasm. A little. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of the standholders have actually decided to move indoors rather than brave the rain that has been <laughs> forecast for the next three days. Um, now, the past few weeks have been focused on group and specialist shows. Mm -hmm. And actually, on the day we filmed our last programme, there was another show going on, Scottish Breeds. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us what went on there? Uh, well, it's, it's rather a unique show because obviously the, the native Scottish breeds come from a combination of breeds from the various groups. And um, did Pat Clayton judge best in show I there? think so, yeah. yeah. And her best in show winner was the Shetland Sheepdog, champion Ranadale Bugsy Malone. I think he qualified for the Yukonuba Champion Stakes yeah. Finals at possibly even the Scottish Breeds last year. So it's obviously his lucky show. Yeah. Now we'll keep moving quickly on. Uh, National Terrier was the week following at Stafford again. Um, who was the big winner there? The best in show winner was, interestingly, because this is you know the premier terrier show mm. in the country, yeah. um, an Airedale Terrier bitch actually attending her first show. She's actually called Land Spicy Cherry of Serdon, who was bred in Estonia. Wow. Sired by a Serdon dog and back over with Judy Averis. And the Serdons are, are one of the biggest terrier kennels in the UK? Probably the largest show kennel in, in the whole of the country. They've been hugely successful in a variety of different breeds. And uh, obviously, to win National Terrier, the uh, first ever mm. show, is, is going some. Yeah. But um, she's, a, she's a smart area of pitch. And a week later, we head north, across the border, to Hound Association of Scotland, mm -hmm. uh, where the best in show judge was Valerie Fox. Yes, and she chose a dog that wasn't attending its first ever UK show. Uh, she ended up with a Whippet Bitch Champion Palmic Magical Whispers. I think she's won round about 20 cc's. Actually, I had her in the Best in Show lineup at Manchester two years ago, maybe. So she's a season's campaigner, and Valerie's always got a soft spot for a whippet, anyhow. And we head back south uh, to your home for Working in Pastoral Breeds of Wales, mm -hmm. uh, where we saw a regular face on the programme taking top on it. That's the Australian Shepherd Bitch champion, All Mark Fifth Avenue. And it wasn't Tiffany's only big win in the period since our last programme. She went on to Welks the weekend mm -hmm. later and took top honour there, her first All Breeds Best in Show win. Yeah, well, moving on from the, the Welsh double group show, Tiffany went on to Welks, West of England Ladies Kennel Society, in case someone gets confused with strange seafood. <laughs> and she ended up winning Best in Show under Jane Lilly, which actually was her first All Breeds Best in Show, but I think it was her seventh group win. And I believe I'm right in saying she's the first British bred or British born Australian Shepherd to win Best in Show, and certainly the first Australian Shepherd bitch to win Best in Show. Wow. Well, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed, Andrew. Now, Best in Show judge here is Kari Wilberg. So let's go and see who the first of her group winners will be. The first group judged today on day one is the Terrier Group, judged by Dan Erickson. And now on the move is the Airedale, the best of breed winning bitch number 1406. And moving again now, the Bull Terrier, another bitch number 1640. And now the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, a dog number 1778. Next up for another move is the Wire Fox Terrier, the best of breed winning dog number 1829.
And now we have the Kerry Blue, the dog, best of breed number 1901. Followed by the Norwich Terrier, a do another dog, this time number 1997. And now the Scotty, a bitch number 2057. And the final one to move of this shortlist, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the dog number 2213. And the winner of the Terrier group is the Wire Fox Terrier, the dog number 1829. And group two goes to the Airedale, the bitch number 1406. Group three to the Bull Terrier, another bitch number 1640. And group four to the Norwich Terrier, the dog number 1997. Please show your appreciation to the other four shortlisters. So Richard, thank you very much for joining us. You've won yet another Terrier group with yet another dog on a great run. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing start for him. It's only his second show and his second group. So we're absolutely amazed on how he's uh, taken to the showing, really, because uh, he's never been out the kennel. So, of Which, of course, I did not know. But she <laughs> hit me immediately when she entered the ring and she was presented in immaculate condition which of course is a major consideration also at this level. And it's, it must be satisfying to have a judge coming all the way from Sweden and appreciating dogs as well. Yeah, I mean, Dan Eriksson, he judges worldwide, he's really well respected, uh, so yeah, it means a lot. Well, I was very pleased with my f final selection. My winner and reserve in the group were particularly beautiful, obviously, and they had that extra man element of quality that you're yeah. always looking for. And often the wire fox has to come out of the not separate the classified, but you had classes here, so that, is that more satisfying coming out of the classes as well? Well, it's always nice to win in your breed, but a win's a win no matter <laughs> where you come from, so... Well, good luck for Sunday night, and we, we hope to see you again on Sunday. Yeah, I'll be back Sunday with uh, everything crossed. Eight shortlisted dogs, and the first one to move again is the Basenji, the bitch number 90. <laughs> and now to move is the Basset Hound, the dog number 258. Beagle, the bitch number 297, moving again. And now moving, the long haired Dachshund, the best of breed bitch number 453. And now moving again is the Deerhound, number 815. And now moving the Otterhound, the dog number 1001. Now moving again, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, number 1094. And now moving again, the last of the eight shortlist is the best of breed winning Whippet, number 1316. Mrs. McDonald is now called for the boards.
and the winner of the hand group is the Rhodesian Ridgeback, number 1094. Group two is the Basset Hound, number 258. Group three is the Whippet, number 1316. And group four, the Otter Hound, number 1001. And thank you to the remaining four finalists. Please show your appreciation for the hand group winners at the National 2013. So we're here with Duke and Karen. Thank you very much for joining us. You've just taken Duke to his first group. How do you feel? Absolutely amazing, brilliant. It's, it's like a lottery win. <laughs> um, and Duke did a lot of winning as a puppy, is that right? He did. He has taken a best puppy in show and a reserve best puppy in show in Scotland. He's mm -hmm. leading Ridgeback Puppy of the Year last year. Fantastic. And he also took a home group four at the three counties. And and a puppy group as well at three counties. I have judged him before and given him a CC. I'm not quite sure, but I think I got, he got best in show from me too at the Breed Club show in Scotland. So, and uh, I also did his sire very well, giving him a group at LKA a few years back. So I do admire the dog, admire his type and his qualities. And I boarded him from Holland. He was, I actually went over on New Year's Eve just before the laws changed and I brought him on, brought him back in on New Year's Day. I drove back over New Year's Day. I've got a ligament gone in my leg and I thought I'd be okay, um, but apparently not. So I just had to look over and say, can somebody run my dog? And uh, well, the friend of a friend said, well, this person, and she's over from Australia, and straight away they just well, paired up and ran together. Fantastic. Well, I think you're needing a runner for Sunday as well, because she's, she's back off to Australia today. Well, actually, she was going down to London today, and she leaves for Australia on Tuesday, but she's just said if she can, she wants to come back on Sunday. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and second was the Basset Hound, who's now won a clutch of tickets, and actually won the group here two years ago. And I think you've seen him before, haven't you? Indeed. Um, he was my winner at Bournemouth a couple of years back, um, and I do admire him. He's a really lovely dog. Interestingly, the Basset Hound is one of our high-profile breeds because here's a dog free of exaggeration with no eye problems, fit, agile. Are you conscious when you're judging this kind of breed now that this is the kind of dog we should be looking for? Well, absolutely. Um, I think it's very important now for judges to take on board this fitness and health. Um, it's as important as every other, other aspect of the dog, in fact, more so. They, sh they should be fit and healthy um, because a lot of these dogs are bred as pets, not just as show dogs. So uh, it's important for the future. And in third position we had a very young Whippet with a young handler winning a first CC from Lockerbie. Yes, I've just found that out. I had never seen neither the dog nor the handler before, but um, I thought she was lovely size and nice flowing lines and she moved really well and for her young handler. So. It was really nice, I was pleased to hear that. And completing the quartet, we had an otter hound who's been the top winning otter hound for the last two years. Another one you've seen before, I think? Yes, indeed. I think I made, I may have given him his third ticket, but I certainly gave him one of his uh, first three. And he has matured since I got him the first time round. Welcome back to Around the Dog World, here for day two of Birmingham National. Less wind, no rain, and a bit of sunshine for the judging of the gun dog group. The German wirehair pointer going round the ring now. Mr. Pear Alberson's choice of Mr. Breed, number 2650, a dog. The Irish setter, sent through by Miss Catherine Loughlin. This dog, number 2988. And the golden retriever, Mr. Dan Erickson's choice. Mr. Breed, this dog number 3711. The American Cocker Spaniel, sent through by Joyce White. This dog number 4012. The English Springer Spaniel, this bitch number 4276, sent through by Mr. Colin Woodward. And finally, the Irish Water Spaniel. Becky Johnson's choice of Mr. Breed, this dog number 4329. We now have the Welsh Springer, 
sent through by Mr. Andrew Grace, this dog number 4441. And this shortlist is all going to be ran. Please show your appreciation for these magnificent first degree winners. So I'm here with Sue Stevens and Aaron, the golden retriever that just won the Gundog Group. Um, a great win. Super, really, really pleased. Uh, it showed beautiful for me. Never <laughs> gives in. It's a real hey up, look at me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's, he's done quite a lot of winning in the in the breed before, hasn't he? He has. He's got 21 CCs and uh, 10 reserves. He had a Group Four at Paynton last year. He won the Champion Stakes yeah. at Boston this year okay. on the Gundog Day and say so he's got a group eight in Ireland, which we got last year. Brilliant. So really, really good. So he's on a, a bit of good form after coming into this year. He's six years old now, but acts about three. <laughs> <laughs> but a real good fun boy and loves it, loves showing. As always in England, uh, it's a big group, a lot of breeds, more than 35 breeds. I think as always some top dogs, some not so good dogs, but this yeah. is normal. Yeah. And I enjoy a lot because my four dogs are outstanding dogs. Yeah. And my golden retriever is a beautiful dog, fantastic dog, mm. with fantastic eyes, fantastic expression, moving, uh, gorgeous, conformation, fantastic. And with color, beautiful dog. In a breed that size, it must be satisfying to come out with a, with a CC. And, and then going further, it must just be... Yeah. So I'm not a breeder, it's just a pet to me. Wow. Um, so yes, super, absolutely. So please, so please. Um, are you nearby or are you having to travel a long way to come uh, back on Sunday now? To Leicestershire, only about an hour, so it's not too bad. But I should be at work, so <laughs> I'll have to get somebody to do my shift. <laughs> the second was a, a very nice Welsh Springer, very, very pretty Welsh Springer, very typey dog. The third was an Irish Water Spaniel, lovely dog, lovely dog, with a very good type and, and lovely movement. And the fourth, I was very impressed with the fourth dog because he's a Drathar, he's a German wire head pointer. Yeah. It's not very usual to win a, a group or to be placed in the group. Yeah. And it was really an outstanding dog. And of course, outside the four, there are other good dogs, but this four impressed me a lot. So we're now going to see our shortlisted breeds move again and do feel free to support your favourites. Beginning with the Bernese Mountain Dog, number 4710. The Bull Mastiff, number 4954. The Great Dane, number 5250. The Leonberger, 5332. The Portuguese Water Dog. Five five two nine. The Russian Black Terrier. Five six seven four. And the last of our shortlisted breeds, the St. Bernard. Five, seven, six, one. 
And I think he's made his final decision. The winner of the working group is the St Bernard's. Number 5761. Second place goes to the Bernese Mountain Dog. Number 4710. And into third place we have the Bull Mastiff. Number 4954. And fourth is the Great Dane, number 5250. Congratulations to all of our winners this evening. Tan, congratulations on winning Thank the working you. group. Thank you. Um, this is not the first time we've we've seen this bitch yet. No, uh, she's. I think it's her fifth group. Um, she's won three or four groups last year. It's her second group this year, Fantastic. where she went reserve best in show at Working Breeds of Wales, mm -hmm. behind the lovely Tiffany, yeah. which was, you know, two lovely bitches in there. So, yeah, she's she's on a uh, good run last year and this year. Yeah, I've... she looked stunning from the ringside, but she's better still to go over construction movement. I couldn't ask any more. An easy winner in the group today, in a strong group. Yeah. You just couldn't ask any more of her. And now, really well handled. And that means a lot to me because yeah. <laughs> I handle for a living as well. So. Yeah. And you talk about handling. We usually see you handling, well, we saw all last year you handling the Bouvier. Um, and the St. Bernard is a big competitor with you in the big working group. I beat her at the last championship show yeah. through the any variety. But, you know, I'm here to judge whatever's the best in the group ring today and by far she was the best there. So I'm not counting points, I'm not trying to knock anything that's <laughs> showing against me. Yeah. It's a fair game and whatever happens, happens. You must have a bit of hope for Sunday night, tomorrow night, because uh, she's already got a best in show in the bag, hasn't she? She has, she was best in show at Bath last year. Uh, it's Kari Wilberg uh, doing best in show, who is a great judge. To win is spectacular, but I'm sure there'll be seven great dogs for Kari to choose. And if we win, that's great. If we don't, then we're in great company. First of all, could I just say, ladies and gentlemen, please don't believe everything that you've heard about me, <laughs> because the truth is definitely much worse. <laughs> <laughs> and this lady moved in with a rough collie, and I thought that that dog was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. let this bitch out and Pat just went and I said you shut up I said we haven't got her I said we haven't got her in the car yet she's doing the standards anyway uh, Lily goes in and she said um, Miss Turner Miss Turner lacquer is prohibited here in the States so Lily said it is a tome and all I've not put one up with lacquer in it air well she had a little 10 inch toy and its top knot was about here, I guess. <laughs> and when it moved, it was pulling it to the side. <laughs> it was like leaning over. And she let these two bitches out in the paddock, and Steve was standing there, and it was another duel like at Atkinson's with Pat. Steve said to me, Look at that, he said. What I'd give to own a bitch like that. I said, you be quiet. He said, that's not the champion. <laughs> and Alan said, what do you think? I said, oh, yes, I'll have her. And as soon as I said I'd have her, Alan shook hands with me. And he turned to Steve. He said, there's no offence here. He said, I'm not selling this bitch to you. I'm selling it to Derek. As... Uh, This is ridiculous. No, no, no. As no. a lifelong friend and a pensioner. <laughs> so, so I said, oh, right. And he charged me £200. Good Lord. For that bitch. 
We made her a champion and she produced us three champions. Moving again, we have the Australian Shepherd, number 5804. And now the Bearded Collie, number 5967. And next to go, we have the Finnish Lapwund. Number six, four, five, three. And next to go, we have the Marema. Number six, six, one, one. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog now. Number six, seven, one, two. Moving again, the Samoyed, number 6820. The Shetland Sheepdog, number 6942. And the final dog in the shortlist, Pembroke Welsh Corgi, number 7091. Boards are being called for, the decision has been made. And the winner of the pastoral group at the National 2013 is the Australian Shepherd Dog. Group two is the Pembroke Corby. Group three is the Shetland Sheep Dog. And group four is the Bearded Collie. Thank you very much to the other shortlist. Thank you very much to Mr. Robin Newhouse. You're all going to please show your appreciation for the lap of honour. And thank you very much to our judge, Mr. Robin Newhouse. So we've just seen the pastoral group judged by Robin. Robin, how did you how do you think that whole group went? I think the group was good. There were some good specimens in, good examples of their breed. Some not quite as good perhaps, but that's unavoidable. Yeah. Um, and your your winner, of course, the Australian Shepherd. Tell us your, give us your thoughts on that. Super youngster, beautifully made, beautifully presented, of, sh of course, and shown, which all counts. Cracking head, the sweetest head and eye. Just a, a, a super example of her breed, yeah. Um, and this is, this is her coming to her first show. Is it? Do, do you think... No, uh, first CC, sorry. First okay, CC. Okay. Do you think she can go further? Oh, very much so. Very quickly, I would think, as well. Yes. Um, and Angie, she's obviously she's got relatives in the Allmark Kennel that have, a couple of weeks ago, we saw winning a first Best in Show. Yeah, that's Tiffany, a half-sister, yeah. um, but a little baby has had to been put on the back boiler because of Tiffany. Because of Tiffany. <laughs> and uh, so she, she has been shown very selectively, yeah. but uh, we absolutely love her and uh, think she is, uh, well, to have like two Tiffany and babe, it's just absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And, and to home bred them as well. Yeah. And to win it, under a very nice, outstanding <laughs> judge. <laughs> and as Robin said, she's got a beautiful face. Yeah, she has a lovely, soft expression. I mean, her temperament and everything is super. And uh, yeah, she's, she's still very young, but... Uh, yeah, much like Tiffany, she, she loved it in there. Yeah, she's, she's very much like Tiffany. They're like two peas in a pod. When they're <laughs> actually in the yard running together, sometimes you have to actually do a double take <laughs> because you, you call him one and then you think, oh, no, it's not, it's, it's babe. <laughs> so. Well, congratulations. Um, you've just won a Best in Show a couple of weeks ago. Can you hope for any more this weekend? Well, she, she's very young, <laughs> but you never give up hoping, do you? Yeah. Well, good luck, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. You will. <laughs> Thank you. So Andrew, end of day three, working in pastoral breed. Start with the working. Um, a St Bernard that we've seen several times mm -hmm. in the programme uh, takes another group win. 
Yes, and I think she's, you know, she's really on form at the moment, this, this St. Bernard bitch. And I think we've said in previous discussions on the television programme that Tan Negresha has brought this breed to an amazing level as far as handling and presentation is concerned. And he and the people he works with are working so hard to get really good sound St. Bernard's in the ring. And then we had a very nice moving um, Bernese bitch, a champion from the West Country, um, coming in second, a very powerful, again, good moving bull mastiff male all the way from Renfrewshire, I think, in, <laughs> in Scotland. And fourth was a, a, a young Brindle Great Dane bitch. Um, An unusual colour, you don't often um, see them in groups. Well, um, the fawns predominate, but there have been some good brindles in the past, but there are a lot more fawns, it's a more popular colour. But I remember seeing this brindle as a puppy and, and thinking that she showed great promise and although she's not catalogued as a champion that apparently was her fourth ticket and moving on to the pastoral group um the allmark kennel have had some great success over the past year with tiffany indeed and this is a, a new one a first cc today and then goes into the group and, and blows everyone away well yeah she certainly blew the judge away and to most people sitting around the ringside they possibly just assumed that it was it was Tiffany, but anyhow, she pleased the group judge. And then second place went to the Corgi. Yeah, second was the Pembroke Welsh Corgi bitch, owned by Alan and Sarah Matthews in Ireland. Diva came over here, reasonably confident Robin would do something for the bitch because he gave her the group the last time he judged it. All right. And she's a very, very classy bitch. Then third, we had Bugsy Malone the Shetland Sheepdog, who we spoke about her earlier. and I have spoken about previously, who's won so well at the Scottish Breed shows. And then coming in fourth was a bearded collie imported from France, winning its first CC today. So an interesting quartet. Well, I will see you back here tomorrow for uh, Utility and Toy Group. Yep, sounds like a plan. Moving again now, we have the Akita Dog, number 7168. Sent through by Dr. Garland Redbard. The Dalmatian, number 7432, sent through by Mr. Bob Gregory. And the German Spitz Klein, sent through by Mr. Frank Payne, the bitch, number 7727. And the Cachon. Number 7948, sent through by Mrs. Stuart Mallard. The Lazar, sent through by Jack Christman, the dog, number 7985. The miniature poodle, sent through by Joan Porter, this bitch, number 8156. The standard poodle, sent through by Claire Parker, the dog 8216. And finally, the Tibetan Spaniel, sent through by Rita Morgan, the dog 8542. The boards have been called for. The decision is about to be made. Best utility group is the standard poodle, number 8216. Formation is group 2, number 7432. The Akita, group 3, number 7168. Group 4 goes to the Tibetan Spaniel, number 8542. Thank you very much to the other shortlists. So Jason, congratulations. You've Thank just you. won the utility group Thank with you. a very, very young poodle. Yes, he's about 16, 17 months, so still in the junior class. So he, he's done really well for his young age. And this utility group, I think it was, and, and for me until now, the strongest group. Uh, a lot of good dogs. It's a pity we cannot select all the dogs. <laughs> I, I select, I think, eight dogs. And I think the poodle is fantastic, outstanding. With a, it's a classic dog. 
a lot of power, a typical poodle movement, fantastic color and pigmentation in fantastic condition. He's not just winning in the UK, he's winning overseas as well. That's right. Uh, about two weeks ago we took him to the Poodle Club of America yeah. and it's, it's a massive competition, dogs from all over the world, and he won best class dog, so he won the CC in America as well. Wow. So he's done really well, he's on a roll. Um, and at 17 months, winning a group, that's quite young for a poodle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, there's something about him, he's very composed and very mature looking for his age, and even very mature in his mind, he's very composed, and he gives the demeanor of an older dog, but he's really just a baby. <laughs> the second was a very, very pretty Dalmatian, beautiful Dalmatian, with beautiful spots, moving uh, fantastic. The third was a very young American Akita, amazing quality with a big bone, and the third, that impressed me a lot, was a, a Tibetan Spaniel. I think it's not a, a very usual Tibetan Spaniel in the group, but a lovely dog in a lovely condition that he moves it as a beautiful house. Lovely dog also. Are you looking forward to best in show? You've only got a couple of minutes till you run in there. Yeah, no, he's, he's holding up, he's quiet, he's not panting, he's very relaxed, he's ready to go. So I'm looking forward to getting in there and just letting him go. Enjoy well, good luck and we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Thank you. To move again is the Bichon Frise, the dog number 8766. Sent through to the group by Jean Manning. Next to move is the smooth coat Chihuahua, Terry Nethercutt's choice, the bitch number 9175. And now we have the Chinese crested. Judged by Mr. Stephen Bardwell, this is the bitch number 9213. The Italian Greyhound now, the dog number 9437, sent through to the group by Mrs. Lynn Webster. Now moving is the Maltese, the dog number 9641, sent through by Mr. Jimmy Simpson. Now moving is the Papillon. The dog, number 9814, sent through to the group by Mr. Dan Erickson. And now we see the Pekingese. The dog, number 9898, judged today by Mr. Tony Alcock. And finally, the Pug. Number 10028, the dog, sent through by Miss Vanessa Cox. Group winner at Birmingham National 2013 is to be Group 1 to the Italian Greyhound, number 9437. Group 2 to the Pekingese, number 9898, the Papillon, number 9814 is Group 3, and Group 4, the Chinese Crested, number 9213. Thank you to our judge, Dr. Chell, and thank you to our winners. Can you show your appreciation for the Toy Group winners? So we're here with Russell Hodges. Congratulations, you just won the Toy Group. How do you feel? Absolutely delighted. Wasn't, ex wasn't expecting that <laughs> at all. And uh, he's had... He's had several group placements before. He's had three group twos, a group three, and three group fours. But this is his first group, yeah. so really special. It was a very interesting group, and uh, I, I, I can't deny that I've judged this dog before. I gave him actually best of breed at, this, at the very show last year, oh, right. and I've admired him ever since. And uh, I just thought he had particularly good performance today. Therefore, I had no hesitation to give him the group today. Um, he's, he's had a, a few group group twos before, uh, but this was his first group. Is it a, is it an honour giving him better? That? Of course, yes. I mean, I'm sure the owner will be very thrilled about that. Yes. So a lot of winning in the breed, but not not often going further in the group. That that must make it really really fantastic today. Wonderful, Abs absolutely, absolutely amazing, and he loves it. He was getting a little bit fed up towards the end. He didn't didn't want to have his picture took. <laughs> a bit reluctant. <laughs> but no, he's um, he loves showing and he lo loves every minute of it.
Yeah. Um, as as a vet, do you go into the group judging slightly differently to other other judges? I hope not, because I mean we have to judge according to the standard, like all judges. And being a vet really doesn't come into it, because we all as judges should judge for for soundness and for health first anyway. And then of course we have to serve the word of the standards. Doing that, there shouldn't be any difference between a vet and any ordinary judge. Do you think your your Italian greyhound is good enough to, to go all the way now? Who knows? We will know in a minute, you know. <laughs> Certainly I think he would be worth to being a best in show winner, absolutely. Um, well, you've only got a few minutes. Is there any last preparations that you have to make now? No, he's done, he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, good luck. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we've just seen the Italian greyhound, Enzo, winning his first toy group. Andrew, you just said the utility group was very strong. How did you rate that one? Um, I don't think it was as strong as the utility group, in fairness, but it was a jolly good toy group yeah. for, for Andreas. And as you just said, Enzo, the blue and white Italian greyhound dog, won his first group. Today, as we are well aware, is not the warmest of days. No. And considering that it's actually not summer-like weather, the Italian greyhound put on an amazing performance, wasn't phased by the cold at all. He's a very sound dog, he's a classy dog. And then second, a dog world regular, Eric, who are Cantonar, 33 cc's, more vet checks than any other dog on the planet, and I would think sort of approaching the breed record. Yeah. Um, looking and going like he always goes, you know, he trucks around with Bert behind him. A, a titled on the day Papillon with Kirsty Miller, one of our, well, she was born into dogs, her parents were dog people. In all fairness, Kirsty's not old, so it isn't very long. Well, you have an obsession with these young females <laughs> ages, Simon. Uh, and then fourth, we had the Chinese crested bitch uh, who won the group at Bath last year. And she's on 27 cc's, I think, now. And she's always a great show girl. So that was the last of our seven group winners. And it's now down to Kari Wilberg. So we'll soon see which of those seven pushes her buttons. Well, let's now head to ringside for the grand finale, Best in Show. Welcome all the great winners. Please share your appreciation for the winner of the hand group. The Rhodesian Glitchback, the Wire Fox Terrier, the Golden Retriever, the Seth Bernard, the Australian Shepherd, the Standard Poodle, with the Italian Greyhound. The first dog to be judged this evening is the Hound Group winner, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, a dog number 1094. Winning Rhodesian Ridgeback number 1382. Sent through from the breed by Miss Sharon Rossiter and sent through to win the group under Mrs. Anne MacDonald. We have the Terrier group winner. This is the Wire Fox Terrier, the dog number 1829. Judged in the breed by Mr. Sean Del Mar. Please don't be shy from showing your appreciation to this, to all these magnificent group winners. This is the Terrier group winner, number 970, sorry, 1829. And won the group under Mr. Dan Erickson. There were 970 Terriers this year. And now from Friday, the Gun Dog group winner, the Golden Retriever. The dog, number 3711. The Golden Retriever, number 3711. The breed was judged by Mr. Dan Erickson, and the group judge was Mr. Luis Pinto Teixeira. There were 2,172 gun dogs on Friday. From Saturday, we have the working group winner. This is the St. Bernard, the bitch number 5761. Judged in the breed by Mr. Barry Nake, please. The St. Bernard, number 5761. judged in the group by Mr. Dave Kimelia. Now we 
we have the pastoral group winner, the Australian Shepherd Bitch, number 5804. The Australian Shepherd Dog, number 5804. Judged in the breed by Dr. Marlene Collins and judged in the group by Mr. Robin Newhouse. There were 1,334 dogs in the pastoral group this year. And now we have the utility group winner from earlier this afternoon, the standard poodle, number 8216, a dog. The standard poodle, Mr. Group winner, 8216, a dog. And the group was judged by Mr. Lewis Teixeira. <coughs> One thousand five hundred and forty two utility utility dogs at the national this year. And finally, from earlier this afternoon, the toy group winner, the Italian Greyhound. The Italian Greyhound, number nine four three seven. <laughs> Judged in his breed by Mrs. Lynn Webster. And top the group under Dr. Andreas Schemmer. 1,512 toy breed, toy dogs here today. And all the group winners moving to the top of the ring. Please show your appreciation for the seven group winners. for Best in Show and Reserve Best in Show for the National 2013. So best in show at Birmingham National 2013 was Travella Striking Steel. Richard, that's a fantastic win, only a second show. Yeah, absolutely amazing. It, uh, it hasn't sunk in yet by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were shocked. I'm sure you were shocked at Welks when you won the first group. You've yeah. come out again, won another one. I can't imagine what's going on in your mind now. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about having a good drink tonight, actually, to celebrate, but uh, no. Well, you were having one earlier. Well, I try to. Uh, I'm just delighted on how he's taken to showing. Yeah. Uh, you never know, you hope for it, obviously, but he seems to be a natural and he loves yeah. it, so. And, and clearly having a lot of fun. Well, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You've got to have fun. Yeah. You've been to two shows. That shows so much promise for, for the future. Yeah. Uh, all you can do uh, is just uh, go on to the next one and keep your fingers crossed and hopefully he'll perform and uh, the judges will like him. Well, congratulations um, and, and good luck throughout 2013. Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kari, congratulations on judging Best in Show. Tell us what you thought about your, your Wire Fox. Absolutely stunning. I have given her, I had uh, given him his father, the reserve best in the show. Wow. <laughs> and I think this is stunning. Yeah. I could take it home any time if somebody <laughs> would trim it for me. <laughs> um, and then we've got a beautiful uh, young standard poodle uh, going second as well. Yeah, that is stunning as well. Yeah. They, I think those two stood out easily for me. Yeah. That poodle had the most fantastic head and expression. And the movement around the ring was breathtaking. And they both had this wonderful attitude mm. going around, real show dogs. And, and both very young dogs, yeah, so, so th good. they can be around for a couple of years now. Yeah, lovely. I wish them all the best. Well, thank you very much for spending a couple of minutes with us. Thank you very much.
So best in show at Birmingham National 2013 is Travella Striking Steel, the Wire Fox Terrier. A great win, isn't it, Andrew? Well, it's an incredible win because this is a young dog attending only at second show. Um, second appearance, CC, best of breed, group one, and all the way through to best in show. Even by the Travella standards, <laughs> that's quite a win. Yeah. And then looking to the younger dogs, the puppies, um, you were very pleased to see this winner. Yes, yeah, there were some cracking puppies there for Kari to judge best puppy in show. And the eventual winner was a beautiful miniature schnauzer bitch, nine months of age at only her second show. Um, I judged the breed earlier this morning. I actually gave her the bitch CC. Wow. Her father beat her for best of breed right. by the tiniest of margins, I can tell you. But I think she's quite special. And of course, Kari is someone who has actually shown miniature schnauzers right. herself. So she probably knows far more about the breed than I do. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Andrew. My pleasure. And thank you very much for watching. Congratulations to the Wire Fox Terrier, and we will see you out next time at Southern Counties.